Hello and welcome to Dr. Anima Upadhyay's Chemistry in Technology and Chemistry Lab videos. In today's video, we will discuss about an important property of the lubricant which states about the aromaticity present in the lubricating oil. And this property of lubricant is called aniline point. But before I start this video, I would like you to please subscribe to my channel and also to share my video among your friends. Let's begin with the definition of aniline point. Aniline point can be defined in two ways. In the first definition, it is defined as the minimum temperature at which an equimolar mixture of aniline and oil at equilibrium separates out that is when a mixture of aniline and oil in equal volume is taken and the temperature at which the layers from the mixture separates out is recorded as aniline point. In the second definition aniline point is explained as that minimum temperature at which the oil is completely miscible with an equal volume of freshly distilled aniline forming a single phase. So this definition explains that minimum temperature when the oil that is the lubricating oil and the aniline are taken in equal volume and they are completely mixed with each other. And the temperature at which they form a single phase, that is they form a homogeneous mixture is recorded as the aniline point. Aniline point is important because it gives us the information about the presence of aromatic compounds dissolved in the given lubricating oil. If the aniline point is high. It states that the aromaticity which is present in the lubricating oil is low. But if the aniline point is low, it suggests that the aromaticity that is present in the given oil is high. And high aromaticity is undesirable. So, a lubricating oil with low aniline point is not recommended to be used as a lubricant for machines having parts made up of rubber or elastomers. Now let us study about the determination of aniline point and its importance. Why the aniline point should be determined? The significance of determination of aniline point. So as I explained under the definition of aniline point, I have told you that the aniline point is a measure of aromaticity present in the lubricating oil. Now if the aniline point of the lubricating oil is low then it is not advisable to be used as a lubricating oil for the machines having parts made up of rubbers or elastomers as the aromatic compounds acts as good solvents for dissolving the elastomers or rubbers. So if such a lubricant with high aromaticity that is low aniline point is applied as a lubricant to the machines having rubber parts then these rubber parts will get dissolved in the lubricating oil and if such a thing will happen then the lubricating oil will lose its lubricating property and it will get deteriorated due to the dissolution of rubber into it. Also, it will make the lifespan of the machinery small because the machine will also get deteriorated due to the dissolution of its parts. Therefore, determination of aniline point is extremely important 
before applying any lubricant to a machine especially if it has parts made up of rubber or parts coated with rubber or if the gaskets or seals are made up of rubber so how to determine the aniline point we need aniline point apparatus so here we will discuss about the construction of the apparatus its working results and precautions this is the real image showing the apparatus that is the aniline point apparatus this is the important component of the aniline point apparatus that is the glass tube in which the oil and aniline are taken so the construction is very simple the apparatus is made up of a test tube which is either made up of pyrex or corning glass and this is 2.5 cm wide and 15 cm long provided with a cork through which an electric stirrer and aniline point thermometer are inserted in the glass tube this corning glass tube is then kept in an outer jacket made up of glass this part is then fixed with the help of clamp to an iron stand on the instrument which holds an electric heater so this is the construction of aniline point apparatus it is extremely simple apparatus now let's see how the apparatus works so in the test tube which is cleaned thoroughly and dried in a hot air oven 20 ml of each distilled aniline and the given oil sample is taken the liquid is then stirred with the help of electric stirrer and if it does not get thoroughly mixed with each other at room temperature the electric heater is started and the heating is done at a controlled rate the temperature at which the two layers mix with each other forming a homogeneous mixture this temperature is recorded as aniline point once the homogeneous mixture is obtained the stirring is stopped and the liquid is allowed to cool the cooling is done in non aqueous cooling bath and the temperature at which the two layers separates out is recorded as aniline point so only once the experiment is performed but we can re record the aniline point once while making the homogeneous mixture and second when the stirring is stopped and again seeing the temperature at which the two layers just separates out while cooling and this is recorded as aniline point in degree centigrade because aniline point is a temperature so it can be expressed either in degree centigrade or in degree fahrenheit but most of the times in the lab we use a thermometer which expresses the temperature in degree centigrade so here i have mentioned degree centigrade let's see what precautions should be taken while performing this experiment so the foremost precaution which should be taken is that the apparatus should be dried properly there should not be any moisture the aniline which is used during the experiment should be pure and dried the cooling and heating bath should be strictly filled with non aqueous non volatile and transparent liquids the aniline is highly toxic so it should be handled with care using hand gloves it should not come in contact with your skin stirring should be done in a way that formation of bubbles should be avoided if the expected aniline point is below the dew point then the space above the 
mixture in the glass tube should be filled with dry nitrogen. The minimum equilibrium temperature of the solution at which the entire aniline oil mixture suddenly becomes cloudy throughout should be recorded as aniline point of the oil under test. You can also determine mixed aniline point using the same apparatus and same procedure. The only difference in determining the mixed aniline point is that here we have to take the oil along with N heptane. So equal volume of oil and N heptane that is 10 ml is taken along with 20 ml of aniline. Same procedure is repeated and the mixed aniline point is recorded in degree centigrade. Both aniline and mixed aniline point states about the presence of aromatic compounds in the oil and therefore they are considered as same. I hope you have understood how to perform this experiment and also how to answer the question if asked in theory about the aniline point. Thanks for watching this video till end. Don't forget to like this video. Keep watching my videos and subscribe to my channel. Take care of yourself and bye bye.